Cebu City has always been one of my favorite places to visit in the Philippines. It is the oldest city in the Philippines and the second largest metropolis. In the past, I've gotten to experience some fantastic things in Cebu, like the Sinulog Festival. some amazing street food markets. <laughs> oh. Such is the stuff that meth is built on. He is elusive. He lives in the it's really good. And also some of the kindest Filipinos I've ever met. Thank you, Ate. Yeah, as you can tell, the staff here is super, super friendly as well. On this trip to Cebu, I had a tight schedule, but I did get to experience some amazing foods in very unique places. And I'm just in absolute awe of how pretty and calming this place is. One of the best buffets I've ever had. The smell is hard to describe. It is smelling so, so scrumptious here right now. A mix of Filipino and international dessert. Look at that. Oh, so nice. Mm. Oh, wow. That is melt in your mouth, Panda. That is lovely. Wow. Look at this beauty. It's soft. It's sweet. It's rich. And in this vlog, I get to explore an amazing lookout point of Cebu. The best view of Cebu City I have ever seen. Finally, before flying home, I made an amazing discovery at Cebu Airport. This is built, or the wood comes from an Austrian company. Welcome to a very unique place here in Cebu City. Actually, I was not planning on making this video, but my flight with A Asia got cancelled again or delayed. So I was actually supposed to fly out in like one or two hours, but they just rescheduled the flight to leave at two o'clock in the morning. So I am stuck in Cebu. Well, not stuck. I get to spend a little bit more time in Cebu City. So I decided to drive up here with the BMW X1 before I bring it back, drive up here and check out um, it's called Tops, Top of Cebu and here, quite frankly, you have the best view of Cebu City I have ever seen. Guys, check this out. What an amazing view, wow. I'm not quite sure what there is to see here in terms of culinary experience or view decks. I'm just gonna go and check it out. Um, honestly, the vibe here is very, very cool. It kind of reminds of Baguio slash Tagaytay. Really cool really unique absolutely love it let's go check it out so let's forget about forget about tomorrow amazing guys check this beautiful backdrop here sadly they don't have any tables available it's quite a long way to get a table but just coming in here and checking out this view is well worth making our way all the way up this mountain i mean look at that there are some cute lamps out here as well, some nice seating areas. And then the restaurant over here is quite full and busy. So I drove back down the hill a little bit and I came by this place called the Gas Lamp District. But it seems to be like a bit of a food court in the mountains. What I love is, they have a coffee shop here and this is literally the coffee shop where I've been getting my coffees every morning so kind of practical they have the coffee here and here we see a lot of different types of Filipino food which makes me very very excited so I'm gonna take a look around here pick a spot and then uh, feast on some Filipino food I'm honestly quite hungry already Right, I ordered some food at one of the food stores. I got some uh, pork ribs, some uh, liempo and some sisig. Uh, looks really, really good. 
I'm so hungry, I'm gonna dig in right now. Back here at BMW in Cebu, returning this beautiful car. This was a lot of fun to ride. Ah, so nice. Hello, Kuya. Here are the keys, thank you very much. Beautiful, brand new BMW X3. I believe this is the, the three liter diesel engine. You can tell by the silver uh, like rails on the front of the car. This is an absolute dream car. Okay, it's a few hours later and I'm at the airport at the gate waiting for my flight back to Manila and Air Asia has been quite difficult lately with Your attention please. As for COVID-19 health advisory, passengers are advised to wear face masks inside the airport terminal at all times and maintain social distancing of one to two meters. Your health is of our utmost concern. Thank you and have a safe journey. Asia has been quite unreliable lately with their flights because coming here the flight got rescheduled I think three times and also today the flight got delayed to like 2 a.m. so now it's actually 1 a.m. in the morning but what I wanted to mention is I really love the look and the layout of the new airport here in Cebu and if you look at these wood arches here and the whole construction it's actually a fun story this is built or the wood comes from an Austrian company and the Austrian company that uh, makes these makes the wood for these structures is only an hour away from where I grew up and I know this because I was looking up details on the new Clark Airport which I want, I want to do a vlog about that very very soon so if anybody knows has any contacts at the airport you know maybe you can forward this video or forward the contact details uh, I'd highly appreciate it and yes that airport also has the same the same company made the, the arches and the roof construction for that place oh i am back in manila what a journey it took such a long time to get back home yesterday literally arrived at the house at four o'clock in the morning and uh, the majority of the flight i spent sleeping it is a very very short flight to get to cebu but just with the delays of asia everything stretched out pretty long so it became quite the journey uh, but looking back at the travel time I think in future I'll, I'll stick with Cebu Pacific because they've been a little bit more reliable lately and if if it's just a flight without delays it's just such a short jump to get to Cebu City and quite frankly I feel like traveling to Cebu City quite like quite more frequent just because there's so much to see and to do and you don't you don't just get the city experience you can explore outside of Cebu and drive to like Mall Boal or up to Malapascua Bantayan Island there's so much to explore around that area I still haven't really explored Mactan and all the new places that have opened up it was actually a very very short trip considering all the new things that there are to explore in Cebu so I definitely want to go again very very soon and um, obviously I'll share that with you guys but right now I'm starting to plan the next few trips here in the Philippines uh, that I'm really excited for for one I am going to plan a trip to Sikiho. I saw that there's some amazing skydiving that you can do in Sikiho. I really want to give that a try. Uh, believe it or not, I've never done skydiving in my life before and I think Sikiho would be an amazing place to do so just because of the scenery that you have and it's such a beautiful little island and I haven't been to Sikiho in such a very long time. And then another trip that I'm planning on doing and maybe you guys can help me organize this or find a way to facilitate this is I want to travel to the Apo Reef and do diving at Apo Reef. Not Apo Island, Apo Reef. Um, which is in Mindanao, uh, I believe it's in the Sambuanga province, but it does need a lot of planning and I have been speaking to my close friend Jobbit. Um, we're planning on doing that trip together because Jobbit is a very experienced dive instructor and I've gone diving with him in the past already and yeah some exciting exciting things happening so definitely if you have any advice or any points uh, or any contacts that you can share please do let me know in the com comments down below with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this Cebu City travel series. Uh, it was a very short one, but I really, really did love it. And I will be back very, very soon. Uh, if you did enjoy the vlog series, be sure to give these videos a thumbs up. You know, share them on Facebook if you like. Uh, spread it around the internet. Um, if you enjoyed today's vlog, give this vlog a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Room to stay awesome, be positive, and make it happen. And thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.
No 